Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at Camtasia, one of the best software for creating online training video. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the product and also its pricing plan, where to download and how to use it. This is a new series about Camtasia on this YouTube channel. So if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more about Camtasia. Alright, so in order to learn what is Camtasia, you want to go to the website techsmith.com or you can find the link in the description. Okay, so here at the homepage, you want to select product and then Camtasia. And here you can easily see the description about the software. It is a screen recorder and a video editor. Being mentioned that when you install Camtasia on your computer, there are two applications. The first one is the screen recorder and the second one is the video editor. So the, the icon will look like this. So this is my Camtasia video edit and this is my screen recorder. So this is the screen recorder I'm currently using to make this software tutorial. And you can easily read the description on their webpage. The software is designed for tutorials, software demos, training video and more or stuff like that. And it has the best screen recording software for video tutorial. Meeting, recording, video lesson, explainer video or stuff like that. So the first part of the software is just a screen recorder where you can record your computer screen. And record your webcam and audio from microphone and system sounds. And when you record video with Camtasia, there will be different tracks on the timeline. You have the webcam video track and screen recording video track and audio track. And the second part of the program is the video editor with many interesting features. Okay, so you can cut your video, trim your video, remove unwanted part in your video. Added to that, you can also apply transition effect and also use some special effect like chroma key to remove the green screen background of your video too. Okay, and if you want to download the software, just click here at the free download button. And being mentioned that Camtasia is available for both Windows and Mac OS. If you purchase a single license of Camtasia, you can use it on both Windows or Mac OS. It's up to you. Okay, so if you have a Windows system, you can click here to download and for Mac OS user, you want to click here. When you click here, they will send the link to download the package to your email address. The download and installation is very simple. Once you finish, you have to log into your account or you have to create a TechSmith account to start using it. Okay, so it will offer 30 day free trial. After that, you have to purchase the software if you want to continue using it. Talking about the license, if you want to purchase it, you want to go to the store here. And this is the current price of Camtasia. It is 299 US dollar. You can just click here uh, at the buy now button. So this 299 US dollar license includes one license of Camtasia and your first year of maintenance. And it is compatible with Windows and Mac OS. You can access to English, French, German, Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, and Portuguese. Okay, so the benefit of the Camtasia maintenance is that you have one free upgrade to the next version. For example, now it is Camtasia 2022. And if you purchase the license now, you are free to upgrade to Camtasia 2023. And being mentioned that I have 10% discount coupon code for Camtasia. If you want to purchase the software, don't forget to use it. All right, so let's open the software. Okay, so this is the start page of Camtasia. And you can see here, we have some button here. This is the get started and this is the learn button. If you want to learn more about Camtasia, you can click here at the learn button and you can watch Camtasia tutorial on TechSmith channel. Okay, and here we have some resources with the online help, community support, and be mentioned that you can also download the keyboard shortcut of Camtasia here. You click at the PDF here, you will see all the shortcuts they use in Camtasia in different language. Okay, so this is English and this is Japanese, stuff like that. Okay, so let's close this one. Okay, and let's click this button. And here you can see that I already logged into my Camtasia account. So Camtasia, Jackie, and they are asking me for Camtasia maintenance uh, renewal. Okay, and it is going to expire in about 14 days. And here we have the button to create a new project. You want to create a new project from template. Uh, you want to click here. So these are the templates to have you create video faster. And they have more templates at their store also. 
if you want to use any template you want to select the template and you want to click this button new from template okay but for now I'm just close it and on the right side you have a button to open your recent project and uh, this is a new screen recording in Camtasia by the way in Camtasia 2022 they integrated some application of TechSmith into the software such as the Audiate and the Snagit so this is the screenshot tool and this is the audio editor but these applications are not a part of Camtasia you have to purchase them separately and down here you have your recent project and template project and stuff like that okay so now I'm going to open my recent project just to show you about the video editor inside Camtasia okay so this is uh, my new one just double click to open it all right so this is the workspace of Camtasia and on top of the window you have your project name and on the right side you have your login account and on the left side you have the toolbar menu at the center you have the preview window and down here at the bottom you have the timeline and this area is the place where you can access to the most important folder of Camtasia. For example, if you want to import your media into the software, you want to select media folder. And then you can click this button to import your media. And now you want to select the video on your computer. For example, I can select this one and then I can click open and it will be imported to Camtasia. And down here you have the library. So this library includes all of Camtasia assets and your own assets. For example, I have three library here, Camtasia 2022, 2021, and I also have a reused YouTube library. So for example, we can select Camtasia 2022 and now there's many things here for example you can find a title so motion graphic title you can double click to preview it titles goes here and you can also double click at this one so create teach inspire or stuff like that so they are ready to use template in Camtasia and I also have my reuse YouTube library okay so this is my reuse YouTube where I have my intro my meme my music and also my sound effect or stuff like that i created these assets myself and i imported them to camtasia for my video okay and down here you have the favorite folder where you can store your favorite annotation transition and behavior stuff like that whenever you find an effect that you want to put in this favorite folder all you need to do is to click the star button okay and you can also click the star button to remove it from favorite folder the next folder is the annotation so where you can add special shape and text and arrow or sketch motion or stuff like that you can even add keystroke to your video here uh, at this annotation for example if you want to use this shape you can just drag and drop it onto the screen or at the timeline okay and then you can type uh, this is annotation okay and then you can add behavior to this annotation uh, down here at the behavior tab for example you can just drag and drop the behavior here and play it one frame backward and down here you have the transition effect folder so being mentioned that with Camtasia 2022 you have many different kind of transition effect for your video if you want to add a transition between clip it is very simple just drag and drop it onto the timeline uh, something will look like this nice right and the next folder is the behavior so the behavior in Camtasia is similar to the animation preset for example if you have a text on the timeline okay like this and this is a simple text on the timeline and you want to add animation to this text you want to go to behavior and then you can select an animation for example this one all you need to do is to drag and drop it here it will create an animation for your text like this button okay and there are some more settings so the animation will include in out and during whenever you click here and you can see the property here at the behavior so this is a behavior tab you can adjust the in and during and out of this text so it is very interesting and the next folder is the animation where you can add zoom and pan to your video or your screen video here at the animation tab you can drag and drop this animation effect to your video or any object on the timeline okay for example if i want to to right 
I want to click here and it is the animation or you can just move one frame forward or one frame so that's nice right and the next one is the cursor effect you can add to your screen recording video you have the pointer and you have the left click and you have the right click if you want to add cursor effect to your screen recording video all you need to do is to drag and drop this one uh, drag and drop it directly to your screen recording video okay and you can also record your voice narration here with this option and down here you have some audio effect for your video for example this is my most favorite one emphasize we give me the option to emphasize my voiceover and lower the background music and it has the noise removal also and the next folder is the visual effect where you can find blur region clip speed uh, we use the option to change your video speed color thin colorize and corner routing and you can also add device frame here and you can even remove a color of your video or the green screen option added to that you can also add caption to your video in Camtasia and it is automatically translate your voiceover into closed caption it is very useful okay so these are the main folder in Camtasia by the way if you want to start editing your video maybe you want to learn how to cut the video for example I have a video here and let's delete everything first and let's save it as a new project new project okay and then I can click save okay and normally when I finish my screen recording it will be like this we can just run and drop it onto the timeline and we mentioned that we have multiple track here and now if I want to delete the, all the empty track all I need to do is to right click and select this option remove all empty track okay and this is my screen recording video one two three so I always say one two three because sometimes the the audio and the videos is not synchronized so I have to synchronize it myself so we can zoom in and zoom out the timeline with this option and let's play the video hi guys well and at the beginning I want to have an intro so I'm going to scale up my webcam I can just click here and scale it up to full and then. hi guys welcome so I, I want to start my video at this option so all I need to do is to select both my screen video and my webcam video and select this option to split it okay and now we can select the video here and we can press ctrl and backspace to rip or delete it and then we can select all of them and then move it to the beginning okay just click here to view everything and move it to the beginning so this is how you can split and remove unwanted part in your video with Camtasia okay and we can listen to the video Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to use silent detection add-ons in Filmora 12 okay so this is one of many interesting add-ons okay so this is one of many interesting okay so at this position I repeat myself so I am going to select it here and this is another option to remove unwanted part in your video you want to use this handle okay and this is your selection you can just uh, click here at the scissors icon to cut it okay and then we can play okay so this is one of many interesting okay so this is how to remove unwanted part in your video and for example at this position i want to show my computer screen uh, just for example i can go to the animation tab and then I will select animation and then I will use this one to right for example I can drag and drop it to my webcam video okay so this is the animation very nice right and we have two keyframes on the timeline and now we can adjust the webcam at the second keyframe for example to this position and let's zoom in the timeline so that you can see it easier okay so this is a keyframe we can adjust the speed of the zoom effect also and uh, let's play it okay. nice right okay and what if you want to add cursor effect to this one to this pointer all you need to do is to go to the cursor effect here and select the cursor for example i will select highlight all i need to do is to drag and drop it directly to my screen recording video okay and if i want to adjust the size of the the effect all I need to do is to double click at the screen recording video and go to this property tab and select pointer here 
so this is the size okay so let's select 20 for example and press play uh, let's find the cursor effect okay so this is 20 and I can even change the color of the cursor effect also uh, for example I can change it to red and I can increase the size the softness and right here okay reduce the size is better and if I want to add the mouse click I can select this one left click and drag and drop the mouse click here and we can scroll down here to see the sound of the mouse click and we can adjust the sound also okay so that is how to add a cursor effect and now what if i want to add text to my video for example uh, then i will go to annotation and then i can select text and uh, just right and drop it here and put the text box uh, here on top of the timeline and then i can change it to my name for example and we can also add behavior to this text uh, i'm going to select this one and it is jump and fall and you can play the video once you use stream or and you can also go that's nice right okay suppose say that you finished from your project and now you want to export your project you can see here this is the button to export the your project in camtasia for example you can click here and then you can select the option to save it to your computer or you can upload it to google Drive or or other text miss server here okay so normally i will select this one local file mp4 and then i will select a new name for example jackie one and down here we can select the location where we save our project and we can click here to go to advanced setting uh, here we have the dimension so this is the dimension of the project and we are going to export it in 1080p and if you want to increase the video quality you can click here at the encoding tab okay uh, here you can see the frame rate it is 30 frames per second and this is the quality of the export setting so we can increase this quality to around 75 okay 75 to get a good video quality and then we can click the export button to export our project all right so this is a quick overview of camtasia i hope it is helpful for you if you want to learn more about camtasia don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel there are more detailed tutorial coming next week thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye